Can we blame Diana for Harry's failure? The fatal flaw caused Meghan to exploit the spoiled prince. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Royal Family News Channel. As a child, he crushed his tricycle in the legs of the stick and tripped it with his little foot. He would make fun of a disabled teacher. And then later, that's when the drug and alcohol abuse started. He played houses in Soho. He has been photographed frolicking completely naked in Las Vegas hotels, and even wearing a Nazi uniform to costume parties. He cheated on exams. Sarah Forsyth refused to hand over the documents and was fired. Then he eventually sued Eaton and won compensation. Same thing at Sanders Military School. His friends did all his work while the examiners looked the other way. I mean, the truth is Harry was never very bright. And then, in Afghanistan, he was protected 24-7 by the most fearless, loyal, professional and courageous soldiers in the army. And he played video games in his bunker. He sent several Afghan women to the hospital overnight due to serious and sadistic attacks. He referred to his army buddies using racist slurs such as Parkies. And there are so many other nefarious accusations that would make Andrew seem like an angel. An important thing to consider is who supported Harry in this behavior from childhood until he was around 13 years old, well, it was Diana. She was the one who allowed him to really show most of his flaws. It was reported that Diana never really punished him for his bad behavior. She just laughed and told him to be careful not to get caught. Now, the staff who worked in the royal families certainly did not like Harry, even when he was a young boy. He was protected by the palace, and all of his most outrageous examples of bad behavior were downplayed and swept under the rug to protect his reputation as the son of the future king. Harry never felt better, then he told his family that he didn't care about them anymore, that they could go to hell. So he and this bad wife he married decided to resign from their royal duties and run away to California. And surprise, surprise, now everything is happening to him, and he is complaining about suffering from mental health problems. Suffers from a severe case of arrested development, mentally, Harry is still an angry 13-year-old. And he lacks the self-awareness, discipline and maturity to help himself. Harry is trapped in this downward spiral, and I fear it may truly end in unspeakable tragedy. I'm also not a big fan of people trying to hide behind these professional diagnoses they pay for. I don't care if it's ADD, or ADHD, or whatever. Bad behavior is not necessarily one of these disorders. And it seems like a lot has been hidden from the public when it comes to Harry's behavior. It all started when he was a child and his mother was certainly complicit. Well, since he escaped from the palace, there has been no one to cover him, and now it seems we see everything. I mean, his current behavior really demonstrates all of his faults and flaws. His life has become a total disaster, due to the lies and deceitful behavior of his master manipulative wife. This ugly succubus who calls herself a duchess every chance she gets. She even sneaks in the title of princess when she thinks it will benefit her. However, they must monitor him. They act like they are invincible, but that is not the case. I mean, Harry was backed into a corner at this point. I don't know how he's going to get out of this mess, but at this point he's cut ties with everyone who cared about him, so he's going to have to figure out how to help himself. Harry and Meghan need to take these invisible children and they just need to leave. And my friends, this has nothing to do with mental health issues. I mean, maybe he does but that's no excuse. He can't blame his mental health issues for being such a mean bully. There is no excuse for the way he mistreated people. Harry is a narcissist, I think, and Meghan definitely is. Their behavior and attitudes are absolutely appalling. Harry also likes to make up a lot of stories about what his mother would be like instead of knowing for sure how she would react to him. He was a child when she died. And as a mother, she spoiled him too much. This protected Harry from a lot of the negativity he felt. 
There's no way he'd know her as an elderly royal, or as the wife of the future king. Diana had her problems, she had her struggles, but Harry knew nothing about them. Has TV interviews, tabloid articles and of course Meghan's version of events to remember her by. But none of these things are helpful and certainly not healthy. He now considers his father an enemy, because of his mother's infamous television interview. But at some point, he loved his father and understood that his father loved him deeply. He was also very close to his grandparents, especially his grandmother, the late queen, and he found in his brother's wife, Catherine, the sister he never had. I remember when Charles and Camilla got married, Harry had a real smile on his face all the time. But then Meghan disappeared with her toxic attitude and delusions of grandeur. Spoiled brat, Z-list California actress Meghan stormed through the gates of Buckingham Palace, insisting she would be the one to modernize the monarchy. Meghan was convinced that she would become a Disney princess, and that she would be able to transform a constitutional monarchy into a Disney park. Meghan was an actress, but not a very good one. She was a girl with suitcases. And apparently he had other jobs. But none of those jobs helped her understand what it means to be a diplomat. He hasn't learned good manners, dot he has no understanding of the British people, and knows nothing about history and traditions. But she already knew everything just because of who she was, so she didn't want to follow anyone's advice. He would not have learned the ropes from other members of the royal family, and would never have accepted that the royal palaces and residences are old and contain many antiquities, priceless antiquities. It's not all filled with that minimalist beige stuff that Meghan loves. And that she couldn't even let her babies out for everyone to see, because she lied about how those babies came into the world or if they came into the world at all. But when she realized that she couldn't be the best, that she would never be the star of the show, well, that's when she threw a fit. He thought he could have it all. Apparently Meghan didn't bother to read the description on her website. No, Meghan, you never could have chosen when you wanted to be a senior royal. Meghan was upset that she couldn't spend half the year at LA sell her titles for money, then return to royal duties and push through better engagements, because she was so charming and not everyone likes her. And then Harry was brainwashed, incapable of thinking for himself, if he ever was. His brain had been completely reprogrammed. Meghan couldn't risk him being loyal to his family and never complaining, so she had to make sure she had him by her side, and he ate it all. So now, just like Meghan, he is a victim. And he only has childhood memories of his mother. He never got beyond the stage of indulgence. And he still clings to the idea that his mother would approve of his life right now. That she would just tell him, oh, poor Harry. You are right to be angry. They just don't treat you fairly. They don't see your greatness. Meghan was an actress, dot he played the role of a victim and a madman. She's basically the royal Karen. Meghan can't get new coins, because she signed up herself. And I don't believe for a second that Diana would have given her the time of day when she couldn't handle Meghan Markle. I don't even think Meghan would have had the chance to bow out if she had been introduced to Diana first, because despite all her faults, Diana was loyal to the crown. He loved the late queen. She grew up in an aristocratic family, a family that really cared about the monarchy. Martin Bashir lied and cheated to get this interview. Poor Diana thought at that moment that she was under surveillance, but Meghan's goal has always been to destroy the reputations of people who don't conform to her distorted view of their own importance. Meghan underestimated the power of the royal family. He thought they were just a bunch of simple idiots. He thought he could reshape the entire royal lifestyle. And then when she came face to face with the Queen, that's when she began her racist lamentations, her ramblings, her crying and her threats to end her life, and let's not forget the oldest thing in the world, I'm pregnant. And so that meant that, of course, Harry had to marry her. He had no choice. The Queen should have told him no. 
he should have shown Megan the door, and they might well suffer the consequences of a little tantrum from Harry. If Harry thinks he's so vital to the family at this point and his position as prince is still intact, then he needs to wake up. His behavior is appalling and shameful. So okay, okay. Pay Megan what she wants to leave once and for all, convince a nice girl to marry him and insist that she live a quiet, private life away from the media. And you, do you agree with me? Please tell me your opinion below in the comments. If you favorited our video tonight, please like and share it with anyone who might enjoy it. And please, before you go, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get more updates from Royal Family News Channel. Thank you very much for listening. Have a good weekend, and we will come back to see you in future videos.